Lychee Slicer. Let's give it a review. Hey guys, if like me, you thought your 2 box was pretty much the only practical free slicer available, then today you'll probably be as surprised as I was. In the strange way that life does, I was introduced to lychee by two sources on the same day. My buddy TK over at TK's 3D Models and by Archvillain Games. So my thanks to them both. The Mango 3D website is a mine of information and it quickly became clear that there are two options. A free download and a pro version. I cringed in anticipation of the outrageous pricing but oh, you're kidding. Is that all? Very reasonable. Not only that, but in a straight comparison of features, the free version looks pretty damn good. A feature I instantly noticed was its compatibility with various printers. Now, I love any cubic printers, but I absolutely despise Photon Workshop. Unfortunately, G2 Box and any cubic don't seem to get on for some reason. But Lychee is perfectly happy with any cubic and with dozens of other printers as well. The download and installation was an easy affair, requiring an email validation. The moment Lychee opened, it wanted a printer option. Personally, I have several printers to choose from, but here I went with the Elegoo Mars 2 Pro. But multiple printer options can be added at any time. Once loaded, Lychee suggested to download the beta version in order to access Anycubic's recent print releases. Now, I usually avoid betas, but many of you guys have got Anycubic printers, so I switched versions. Lychee was instantly ready to work, so I imported a known file and got an instant shock. Many of you will recognize my 50k giveaway coin, which I successfully printed and cast. But here, Lychee was clearly reporting problems with the file. And whilst I hadn't had any problems when slicing the same file previously in G2Box, I was impressed that Lychee had spotted problems that potentially could have caused printing issues. Not only that, it made fixing things easy. It has its own whole fixer, and it also operates in tandem with Netfab Online Services. As I already have a free Autodesk account, it was just a matter of entering my login details and letting Lychee and Netfab sort it out. This is an online connection and it takes a few minutes, but sure enough it sorted the problems out perfectly. Very impressive. I found moving around the environment very obvious and intuitive. It has the usual rotation tools to help you select an appropriate orientation. It scales well, as you'd expect. Duplicating the print is beautifully simple. And moving objects around the plate is child's play. The auto arrange feature is best left until you've added supports. But with that done, it works well. The mirror mirrors and let's be honest, right now, other than the file repair, you're probably quite unimpressed. It's just an ordinary slicer doing nothing much differently to G2Box, right? That's what I was thinking, but stick with me. I noticed the auto-orientate feature with interest, but I think we may have to call this a work in progress. It has worked for me a few times, but right now, as you can see, it's still got a way to go. This plate feature is quite nifty, it allows you to select any part of the model and orientate it automatically to be adjacent to the build plate. I can see this feature really coming in handy. The Orientate to Object button is also pretty clever. This allows you to orientate separate objects in relation to each other. This is particularly handy if you're trying to combine a number of objects into one printable form. The magic button is one to keep an eye on. In theory, it's as automatic as you can get. Automatically adjusting orientation, adding rafts and supports, etc. All by itself to make life incredibly easy for the user. 
Personally, I don't think he's ready yet. But I'm learning very quickly not to underestimate the guys at Leechy. One day soon, this button is going to be all you need. You'll notice the way that Leechy is warning me I haven't saved. Doing a good support job on a print can be a timely affair, and Leechy has an autosave feature built in. I can't tell you how many times Ch2 Box has crashed on me, but Leechy saves you tears by automatically saving for you, though it still prompts you to take control of your own destiny, which of course you really should. Selecting the Supports tab, you can raise your print above the platform with a simple click. Overhangs are made obvious by the checkered yellow patterning. Show lets you hide parts of the supports, a very useful feature that can save you being blindsided by your own support work. Raft gives you a selection of various raft types, rather than the skate or no skate option of G2 Box. It also gives you control over sizing. Hollowing is very simple. Just turn it on and make your selections. The slide tool helps you see what's going on. Adding holes is also very simple, though I can't claim to like the way they're displayed. As usual with supports, you have a choice of light, medium and heavy, as well as a custom option. These settings are changeable, but I always advise to stick with the standard settings until you're used to things. Auto support will be a popular choice for many, and there's a wonderful selection of options associated with these. Let's give it a quick try. Well, it would work, but it wouldn't be my choice for this coin. With something a little more interesting, let's try that again. Actually, that's not looking too bad. Now I love this, it automatically detects all the islands, and you can then have all these islands automatically supported. Even if you manually support your prints, what a great way to start the process. The parent option is a great way to reduce vertical supports. Notice the sharing supports have automatically thickened to carry the extra weight. The bracing feature is another excellent touch. Thin supports in particular go bendy over distance and bracing is a way to share the load and support the supports. Adding supports manually is stupidly easy and moving them in the free version is okay. For this I prefer G2 box if I'm honest but it's a feature and it does work. My absolute favourite part of Leechy is the tree branching feature. By holding the ALT key, you can add one support to another, forming a tree. Even better, holding CTRL and ALT together enables you to create super fine support. Excellent for when you need support on very fine detail, without ruining it. Here's another nice feature. Ever have a plate so full you can't see the model you're trying to support? That's not a problem with Leechy. The slide bar, of course, helps you scour through the object, helping you identify islands and potential problem areas. Leechy gives you the option to look from the bottom up or the top down. But I did find myself missing G2 Box's double slider approach. This is something I've come to use a lot. However, when you engage the preview mode, Leechy gets better again, giving you multiple viewing options, including this excellent printer simulator. And look at this, what a fabulous way to judge your print size in a virtual real scale setting. It's easy to compare the print with the can and the pen, allowing us to gauge a real sense of the size of the finished print. I'm not sure about the banana as these come in various sizes. Maybe a credit card or a compact disc or even a match would work better. Hitting the export button 
might initially intimidate, but it's all very easy stuff. Our printer is already known, but not the resin settings. Fortunately, Leechy has an excellent cloud database, so adding this is simple. OK, I have yellow rather than grey, but it should work. And yes, those settings look spot on to me. But of course, I can manually alter them, as you'd expect. I'll export the file to a USB stick and let the slicer do its work. OK, here's the drawback. The free version gives you an annoying advert at this point. But for everything that comes free here, this is a tiny inconvenience to suffer. Once complete, Leechy gives you a nice summary of what to expect. Other export options include the facility to save the print as an OBJ or STL file, and to save the entire scene to share with a buddy or to keep on record. So does Leechy work? Of course it does. If you've been watching my videos lately, without realising you'll have been seeing my prints exported using Leechy. With so many fabulous features in the freebie, why bother updating to the pro version? Well, there are some good options available there too. There's a few extra rafts. There's some extra hollowing features which are pretty impressive. There's this handy measuring tool. I can see this being very useful for scaling up models and even more useful for professionals like dentists, jewelers and engineers. But when it comes to supports, oh how I love this gizmo. It gives you incredible control over the supports, letting you place them wherever you want and let you size up individual sections. Heavy supports can suddenly have ultra fine tips. Brilliant. I've also found this feature useful for creating sprues for my castings. The island detecting feature in the pro version is pixel perfect, and that's an important point to remember about Leechy. Where other slices calculate in vectors, Leechy calculates and positions in pixels, which apparently leads to superior print results. Whilst this may slow the slice down a little, the results should more than make up for it. And there's other features on certain printers, like overcured supports and variable layers. But these are features I haven't explored, and let me be 100% honest here, I probably haven't told you half of what this slicer can do, pro version or free. I seem to find something new every time I use it, and Leechy are hungry to improve their slicer, and seem to listen avidly to their users, so it's only going to get better. So the question here is, is Leechy better than G2Box or Photon Workshop? Hell yes, there's no comparison in my mind, it's an obvious choice. Sure, for me, support moving in G2Box is better than Leechy's free version, and I do miss the double feature on the slider tool. But Leechy checks, corrects and fixes my prints, it identifies islands with a click of a button, and makes hollowing an absolute breeze. There's tree supports, minis and reassuring bracing. It might not be perfect yet, but the auto orientate and auto supports are only going to get better. Despite using a beta version for a few weeks now, it's not once glitched on me, but maybe I've been lucky. Though G2Box regularly glitches on me, but maybe I've been unlucky. There's an excellent cloud database full of printers and resins, ready to populate your settings with a few clicks. And when we talk about printers guys, tell an any cubic owner about Leechy right now, and you'll probably have a friend for life. Above all, Leechy leaves you feeling in control. For the novice, there's so many auto features, you'll never be puzzled again. And for the advanced user and the pro, you'll get the perfection that other free slicers have so far denied you. 
but don't take my word for it. Head over to Mango 3D right now and download the free version yourself. Try it, you've got nothing to lose and plenty to gain. And if you love it as much as I do, upgrading to Pro is amazingly affordable, though most folks probably won't find that necessary, especially if they can suffer the odd advert. So that's it guys, a quick look at Li Qi. I hope you enjoyed this review guys, and as always, if you have any questions or comments, just drop me a line below. So take care guys, and thanks for watching.